Hi, Steve Ray here with another episode of Park Bench Pittsfield here in our downtown office. And today I'm here with Bruce Buckley, CEO of Soldier On. Thanks for coming in today, Bruce. Well, thanks for having me, Steve. I really appreciate the time. So, Bruce, first of all, I know that Soldier On is a well-known name around here, but tell for those of us who don't know what Soldier On is and what the mission is there. Sure. Soldier On's mission is to serve homeless veterans and veterans who are at risk of homelessness. And we've been doing this since 1994 and have really grown and adapted to the needs of the veterans that we serve. So locally, we run uh, shelter beds, transitional beds that are, we have 250 transitional beds in Leeds on the VA campus as well as in a location in Pittsfield. That program works with veterans who are coming off the streets, coming out of jails, coming out of prisons, coming out of very difficult situations. And the program lasts for up to two years. So it's not just an overnight shelter, but it's really a program that's designed to get the veteran the tools they need to move forward. Beyond that, we began building permanent housing on our Pittsfield location. We opened in 2011, 39 units of beautifully new constructed housing, 650 square foot units. And that has been extremely successful in allowing veterans who come through our program or who have these needs in the community to find an environment with a supportive system and a community that really allows them to stay, be successful, and become a member of the community. So that program has really continues to grow. We have 39 units in Pittsfield and we have locations in Agawam, Chicopee, and North, Northampton. And we have several projects under development right now. Beyond that, our, really the largest thing that we do that is not apparent or visible locally is we have a program called SSVF, which is an acronym for Supportive Services for Veterans and Families. It's funded by the VA. We have about 80 employees in central and northern New Jersey, western Pennsylvania, most of New York State from basically Poughkeepsie to the Canadian border out to Buffalo as well as in Western Massachusetts. So that's just a snapshot of how we serve veterans in this fairly wide geographic area with these struggles. Now that's some tremendous growth uh, in a fairly short amount of time, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of the growth really has occurred since 2002 when really the current management team started and started with uh, 120 shelter beds and we have now grown to, as I mentioned, 250 shelter beds, several permanent housing projects, as well as this outreach program that's in multiple states. So I guess I, I've always thought of uh, veteran services as being a bricks and mortar location that where the veterans went to to get services, but it seems to me that you're talking about a different way of delivering these services, huh? Yeah, really the model is based on a very simple concept, which is let's meet the needs of the men and women that we're designed to serve. And the best way we have found to meet the needs is not to work in offices, not to schedule appointments that uh, someone who has difficulty with transportation or some other struggles has a hard time meeting the appointment. We go to the veteran. Most all of our staff has RAV4s. And in those RAV4s, we have, we're connected to the cloud with the software, the hardware that allows us to meet veterans at their home, at a shelter, in the woods, in a coffee shop, or wherever the need may be to find the veteran who is out there that we can find a way to help them. Wow, that's great. Um, what's new with Soldier On? Well, there's a lot new. I think one of the more exciting projects that is happening as we speak is we began a woman's transitional program that really took off. And it took off because of a local woman, Katie Doherty, who worked at the Breen Center for many years, came to us. We found her, really, and she helped us really craft a female-oriented program because there aren't as many female veterans, and often a female veteran does not appear homeless in the same way that a male veteran might. And the reason for that is, I think just there's a certain societal um, 
belief to help females not let a female be out and alone. So in that capacity, we started a transitional program that we started in a cottage on the VA campus. We built a brand new 16 unit transitional building and that's been extremely successful, it attracts women from all over the country. And we've now begun building a 14 unit permanent housing facility on our Pittsfield campus that's under construction now and is scheduled to open right around the first of the year. So how did you end up at Soldier Eye? Well, I'm a CPA. I was doing accounting here in Pittsfield in the Berkshires where I uh, grew up and spent my life. And I began doing the accounting for Jack Downing who took over Soldier On in 2001 and really had a very specific role. But as the agency's grown, I grew with the agency and I really got bitten by the bug to serve folks. And I think that's really what motivated me to to do help in any way that I could and have continued to grow as the agency has grown over the last two decades, essentially. No question about that. So what do you do? I know that's a demanding job, but what do you do in your off time? Well, my off time, again, as a Berkshire native, I kind of, over the years, have picked up a lot of the hobbies that you, you might acquire. Um, I did a lot of boating for years on a Noda Lake here in Pittsfield. I have mountain biked for years at the Pittsfield State Forest, uh, Potter Mountain Road, a lot of the local spots. I've mountain biked. I think my wife and I enjoy the Colonial, Colonial Theater. We like music. We attend a lot of shows there. Um, you know, here where we're sitting on South Street, I'm a regular at the Marketplace restaurant for lunch and dinner. Uh, Patrick's has always been a good standby. So we, we kind of know, you know what to do around here. So, Bruce, uh, in, in all the years now that you've been associated with Soldier On, is uh, any memorable, certainly you touch a lot of lives on a daily basis, but is there any special moment or a memorable event that sticks out for you that you can share with us? Yeah, I think one, you know, that was fairly recent that's, you know, I think it, it kind of embodies the, the human side of what we really do, not the programs that I talk about, but the human impact. Um, a gentleman, Sam Bennett, who came to Soldier On struggling with addiction, struggling with homelessness. Before I came here in 2002, Sam was here in the program. He was from a, really a shack city, a shanty city down in northern Florida. Had a, you know, a difficult but loving childhood, I've learned, and struggled with drugs, struggled with alcohol, came to us, and came through the program and then became a staff member, got some education at Westfield State College, moved into our first permanent housing project in 2011 and really got stabilized, is a key, key employee that really gets up every day and serves veterans. And through all of his struggles, his dream of home ownership came true last year and that was you know, saving for down payments, doing all the steps that needed to take place in order to purchase a home. And Sam, actually through your assistance and Soldier On support, was able to buy his first home um, in the Allendale section of Pittsfield. He and his fiance, who have since gotten married, uh, purchased the home and are thrilled and was very emotional for him as well as the staff and I think, you know, your staff as well. No question. I think uh, Robin Moore, who's been with us uh, 16 years now, um, cited that as the most memorable experience she's ever had really? in real estate also. So um, it's great you can do that. I can tell you that uh, from our perspective, Sam was profoundly affected by what Soldier On did for him. And, and that's great work you guys do every day. I don't think people realize the role you guys play in the community. How many employees now? About 150, give 150. or take. 150, that's a pretty good uh, employer here, certainly in, in central Berkshire County and here in Pittsfield. And I know that we're proud as a community to have you and Soldier On continue your efforts here and do a great job for the people you have affected and we'll keep going forward. And we're really proud to support your program over here with women and your shelter. Now, if 
people want to help. Any questions? Any um, need to contact you for services in any way? How can they get a hold of you? Sure. So any veteran that's struggling, any veteran that's sleeping on a couch, any veteran that needs transportation to medical appointments or job interviews, there's a lot of needs that we meet beyond even some of the ones I've spoken about. If you dial 866-406-8449, a formerly homeless veteran who works for us full-time in our call center will answer the phone and connect you to the service and the support that you need. That's great, Bruce. Thanks for coming in today. And again, thanks for being part of our community. Thank you, Steve.